During combat, ships take damage, and many times they will need to be repaired because within Dark Expanse, uh, combat damage is persistent. So various ship systems will take some damage, and they may need to be refit after the combat is over. Also, if you build a ship with a lower technology, uh, you may want to refit that ship to raise it up to a, a higher tech level. This can be done on a planet at the planetary shipyard or by using a mobile shipyard, which we're showing here. The uh, mobile shipyard will take on the tech level of the planet where it's built. This means if you have a ship sensor technology of 2000 and you build a mobile shipyard, it will be able to refit to a level of 2000. Whereas if you have a mobile shipyard built on a planet with a sensor technology of 4000, then it will refit any ship at the 4000 level. Uh, one thing about mobile shipyards is that they can only handle one ship at a time. While planets can refit multiple ships of the same type. Uh, one of the benefits to mobile shipyards, obviously, is they can travel with the fleet. So if you find that you're in an uh, enemy's combat zone and your fleet gets pretty beat up and it needs to travel back and it's going to travel really slow because uh, a couple of ships had their ship propulsion severely damaged, you can refit those ships in the field and then the fleet can travel back home quicker. Uh, mobile shipyards, when they do a refit, do not use a planetary build slot, so that is the benefit. The, of course, the downside, as mentioned earlier, is they can only refit one ship at a time. That's the trade-off. Now, to get to a mobile shipyard maintenance interface, first we need to go up to the main menu and go down to Fleet Orders. On the Fleet Orders page, go to the Fleet Details page. Within the Fleet Details page, you will see that Mobile Shipyard is listed. Um, if it's blue, it doesn't have any cargo in it. If it's yellow, as it is here, you can see that the shipyard has some resources it can use for refitting. Um, if it's red, that means that the Mobile Shipyard is currently in the middle of doing a refit. After clicking through to the individual ship details page, you can see that there's the various stats for this particular mobile shipyard. We're going to select for this ship to use this mobile shipyard. Here's the link that is key to utilizing this particular mobile shipyard. This takes us to the standard maintenance interface. We can see here that the mobile shipyard has been selected to do the repair. Um, if we we're using this interface and it was a planet, you would see the planet designation there. Above that on the right hand side is the fleet resources this ship currently has. Um, if this mobile shipyard does not have any resources, it will use any available resources that are contained in the fleet. So any cargo ship that has resources can be tapped automatically to do a refit. Uh, mobile shipyards, like cargo ships, carry resources, and they can be loaded and unloaded just the same as a, a standard cargo ship. On the left, you'll see some information. You can get back to the fleet details page by clicking on the top link. Uh, you can see, get back to the individual ship details page that you're, that's currently selected. You can see the ship specifications. If it's green, that means that the uh, refit will be improved. If it's red, then it means maybe the refit, the planet, or the mobile shipyard isn't as high a spec as the ship currently has. As we get down, we can see how long it's going to take to refit this ship. And there's a refit button, and when we select that, that makes the purchase and begins the refit. Below that are buttons to step through the fleet, going forward and backwards. 
and then below that are filters. Uh, these filters help you kind of sort through the ship list. Um, the, for example, you can display all the ships and step through every ship in the fleet, or you can display just the ones that need upgrades, or you can display all of a certain type, like say I want to just see frigates, or you can display a certain type and the ones that need upgrade to filter them down. So I only want to see frigates that need to be repaired, for example. So that can be set, as well as if you're going to pick a certain type of ship you want to see to be repaired, there's a drop-down list here for all the ship types. And then this button will change the filters depending on what you've selected in the drop-down menus. If we wish to do PDB maintenance, go to the main menu, go down to the PDB maintenance, and select that menu item. This page is pretty much set up like the uh, mobile shipyard page, with the exception that, as you can that you can see here, we're going to be doing these repairs using planetary resources, and we're going to be doing a build on the planet when we do a refit. The other item is we will be able to install artifacts uh, on a PDB from our artifact depot. Should we wish to do fleet maintenance on the planet, go up to the main menu under fleet and select the fleet maintenance item. Again, this maintenance window is set up similar to uh, the mobile shipyard maintenance window and the PDB maintenance window. Uh, again, uh, since we're doing this on the planet, we use a planetary build slot and use planetary resources. And we can see that the planet where the refit is being done is selected on the right hand side and again and again we see uh, the ship that's been selected along with the refit button the filters and if we wish we can install an artifact on this ship uh, from the artifact depot 